hey guys, my son Hector wants to get into digital marketing but doesn't know where to start. What advice do you have for him? Well, you know what? Good news for Hector. This might be Hector in Tucson. I don't know for sure. But um, good news for Hector. This is the time of year, I think, when a lot of people maybe take stock of what's going on. Maybe they look at making a career change or they decide what they want to do um, with their lives. They want to go to school or what have you. A question I get a fair amount when I go speak places, people are saying, hey, this looks like an interesting opportunity, an interesting job that you have. How would you get into it? And I don't think there's a, a true linear path. You know, if, if you want to be a nurse or a doctor or a lawyer, it's pretty linear, right? You have to do this to get to this point. With what we do in digital, you can have a variety of backgrounds and previous experience and still arrive at the same destination. So I don't think there's one single thought I can, I can share, but I can tell you from my standpoint doing what, what we do here, I think what really helped me wasn't so much that I was in marketing when I was in my teens and early twenties, cause I wasn't, but I actually spent a fair amount of time in retail and working retail. First of all, you meet guys like Duncan. That's where I met Duncan and look, look how this has turned out pretty good, I think. Um, but working in retail, what you do is you're diagnosing problems all day. When somebody comes in and they're talking to you and they want to buy something from you, they're telling you what they want. And in your head, you have to figure out a solution for your, for their problem. When it comes to marketing, we're trying to determine what pe problems people have and then offer solutions to their problems. So it's really the same kind of thing. It makes you think on your feet, um, you know, make decisions on the fly. And I think more than anything else, um, retail really has helped me in this career because you get so used to talking to people, meeting people, understanding their problems, coming up with solutions. And then you get immediate feedback too, right? You sell somebody something and you're hearing back from them a week later, a month later, or what have you. So it's kind of that full cycle of kind of that full buying cycle for people. You get to experience it firsthand working in retail. So I, I just think working with people in that retail environment has really helped me a lot. And it gave me a really good foundation. So when we started doing what we do so many years ago, it was like, you know what? I kind of know what this is all about because I've done it for so many years, not knowing it at the time. Duncan, what do you, what would you offer Hector when it comes to advice? Um, I mean, I think one of the, probably the best ways to really learn is, is just to do it, but it's always good to kind of have someone to kind of guide you. So I would probably say if you could find, try to find a mentor, um, you know, even just reaching out to people that work in the industry with an honest email saying, Hey, I'd love to get into this industry, really looking for someone who. I can ask questions about um, if you have time, if you would like to do this, please let me know. And if you send that email out to whatever, 20 people, I'm sure you'd get a few responses of people that were willing to do it. Um, I myself am a mentor to a student from BCIT. Uh, so I, I actually find it kind of fun and interesting. Um, it's, it's nice way to give back a bit, but also, you know, just connect with the people that are trying to get in this career. Um, I can kind of guide them. I can encourage them. I can give them tips and tricks. I can give them, you know, educational things to learn on because frankly, in the end, you know, working in this industry, you want to build people up below you that can do what you can do. Um, so it's important. So like I say, I want people to, I, I love digital marketing. That's why I, I do it for a living, but I also want to kind of share that, uh, love and enjoyment with, with others. Um, and when I see it in others, it's, it's nice to kind of help guide and kind of mold them a bit um, with what I've learned over the years. And, you know, Ian was with me. We had a, a, a high school class in our office a couple of months ago, and we kind of gave a little presentation about digital marketing. And it's funny, you sit there and watch, and there's like one or two people whenever we do this that are really keen and really eager. And you're almost thinking in your head, like, I'll probably run into you one day because this obviously – this isn't appealing to you. I wouldn't be surprised if, if uh, you know, you show up at our door one day. But yeah, the idea of mentorship and teaching, something we really, really love to do here. Um, and anybody that can have Duncan as a mentor is in good hands. Aw. I said that with a straight face too, despite <laughs> the shirt. I'm being serious. Okay. And... To end on a less serious note, Ian, while you give your tip to Hector, I'm going to attempt to change into a Santa coat. <laughs> so 
That is great. Take it away, Ian. Okay, yeah. Um, so when asked <laughs> when asked about how uh, marketing Be was... Be serious, Ian. I'll try. I'll do what I can. Um, when he was asked about how marketing was changing, the copywriter, John Caples, once said, times change, people don't. And I think that that's worth remembering. Um, we see every week there's a new tool that we can use to... Uh, to help you know market to people but the things that actually motivate people to act and buy um largely you know remain the same over time so i think if people can get a, um get into the basics and fundamentals of um, marketing of advertising uh, copywriting and analytics learning those skills will be um tools that are forward compatible forever with any future tools that come out, you know, there's something that you'll always be able to rely on. So that would be my tip would be to, to understand the basics of those areas. And uh, yeah. I have to agree. I mean, digital marketing specifically, it has so much data. It's everywhere. Um, you can learn if you can start to understand and read that data and, and kind of understand what story it's trying to tell you, um, you'll be unstoppable in a lot of different industries. So, uh, it really is a rare skill to have someone that can look at a whole bunch of numbers and, and tell you what it means, or at least come up with plans to uncover what it may mean. Um, and I think that is definitely an invaluable skill to have. And it's one that you definitely learn in this industry rather quickly that you have to be able to look at numbers and figure out if this is good or bad. Yeah. Know what else is a really good skill? <laughs> Changing into a Sagittarius. Changing, Changing off camera. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but it was pretty seamless, right? Oh yeah, no, I was. I, I like. I like the little hand motions. It was a little seductive, Santa. <laughs> yes. Try my best, Duncan. <laughs> all right, good tips, guys. I, and um, those are all valid tips. And like I said, there's no linear path. People will say, "Should I go to school? Should I not go to school?" There's no right way of doing any of that to get to where you want to be. You just have to figure out what the best way forward for you is. And um, I think if you polled everybody in our office, everybody had different paths to get here. There wasn't a single a single um, solution for everyone. So um, some good tips, guys. I think Hector really will appreciate that. And hopefully Hector can find his calling in 2024. I hope he continues to write in as well. He's yes. one of the biggest supporters of our mailbag section.